All right, and here we go with another video tutorial from the Music and Players Club. In this video, we're going over creating a drum build. And um, this is like an effect that I've heard quite a bit in a lot of different tracks. And um, I thought we'd go through um, just how to create uh, sort of a standard drum build. So let's get into it here. Start by opening up a new live set and going into your live devices here by clicking this and I've got all these things open here let's drag a new drum rack onto a new MIDI track so what we're going to do here is drop a couple samples on and uh, basically create our main drum line with um, just a snare sample and um, we'll use a hi-hat and a cymbal like a crash symbol. So let's start by dropping in a couple samples. So I'm just going to use some of the default samples that come in uh, with live. So I'm going to go into my browser, which is one of these ones down here. And let's see, I've got some clips in here. If you go into the waves form, waveforms um, section and samples, there's a drum section in there. I've got it already opened up, but it's got some you know, some different samples for kick, snare, and stuff all organized in here, so it's pretty useful. I'm just gonna go in here and grab one of these samples for snare. This is gonna be the main snare sound, so I kinda like that one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So we're gonna drag it onto the first little region here in the drum rack. And uh, let's go ahead and pick a hi-hat and a cymbal. So we'll go into uh, in here, let's go with a closed hi-hat, drop that on, and a crash cymbal, some type of punchy loud. This is going to consist of our main line. Let's put this together right now. So we'll, if you go in here, we can double click and create a new MIDI clip. And from here, we're going to write in a nice little beat. So let's see. I want a four bar loop out of this. Basically, the, the line that I'm going to be making is going to be it's something that you could drop into like a, a four bar part on a song so um, to start with we're gonna go in here and just draw the snare line and if I set it at 1 8th what I did was right click in there and you can go and and select 1 8th and um, that will change your grid setting to be 1 8th measure set your um, so each mini note comes in at 1 8th. Let's go in here and draw them all in. If you drag the pen tool over that, I'll just put a, uh, a note at each spot there. And so I'm going to use all these right here. Actually, I'm going to delete the last four. Uh, I mean the last, the fourth measure there. The last eight of them. And so Basically what I'm going to do in here, and you can hear what that sounds like, that's just a little build up part. Oops. Okay, and to start with the very first one, I want to be every other one. Be like that. And then the crash symbol will come in on the third line and be
Okay, and then I'm going to change the grid setting to 16th notes. I'll go in here a little bit closer, grab the pen tool again, and drag over every note, and then we're going to end on 4-4 four, four, right there. Okay, and then I'll select just that one and drag it out. All right. So what that's going to do is get a starting here, kind of a little bit slower pace, and then builds up. Halfway through, the crash symbol starts. Halfway as the crash symbol's going along, um, the um, snare comes in at double time. And so these little 16th notes, it comes wailing away, and then ends on the 4-4 four four with a long snare note. And uh, that note can be a little louder, too. And so... Another trick we can do when we're getting this little roll going here is to increase the velocity by holding down the command key while all those are selected and drawing over those just a tiny little bit. Got a slight increase in velocity. So you can hear that's basically it. That's um, you know that's a a real standard thing. I hear that all the time. Um, that little drum build right there, and we can do a lot to sort of increase the coolness of that. And let's get into that in the next tutorial. I think we can um, add some effects and. Uh, see what we can do with this to turn this into something really usable or something that I might use in an actual song um, or how I might take this and sort of melt, uh, merge it into an actual song. So let's see what kind of effects we can get into this in the next tutorial. All right. Thanks.